Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this video we're just going to show you some of the advanced features of the Pursuit theme and how to set them up. The first option we're going to talk about is the linked product options. And what this option does is it will hide any unavailable groupings of variants from your product pages. So instead of just showing a line through where, or an unavailable button on the product page for a variant that isn't available, it will actually update the variants as you select them and get rid of any unavailable options. So let me briefly, briefly show you how that works. First of all, to set this up, we're gonna to go to any product page and click on the product heading here to edit the settings. And I'm going to see that there's this enabled linked options feature. So to show you how this works, I'm going to switch to a different product here that I have set up. Now you can see that this product is a typical polo shirt that comes in small, medium, large, and extra large sizes and in three different colors. So I've got this shirt open in my admin area and you can see that yes, indeed, it does come in all of those sizes and colors. But in this scenario, I wanna make it so maybe we're out of stock on the black one or it just doesn't come in that option anymore in extra large. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two variants, extra large red and extra large black. So I'll select those two and then I will choose delete variants and I will save that. And that's done. So now if I go ahead and refresh this product and take a look at the options, if I choose extra large and black, I now have this unavailable button and the white one is still available and the red one is not available. So that's the default behavior of the theme if a product is un if a variant is unavailable. So now if we go over here to the settings and I turn on this enable linked option feature and save. Now as I switch the different sizes here, you'll watch as this color options change. When I choose extra large, only the white option now appears. So the linked options feature will hide any unavailable variants from your store and update the color choices in real time in this particular instance. Now I'm going to talk about the pick an option feature that the theme comes with. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it basically requires your customers to choose a combination of variants before they can add it to the cart. If you turn on this feature, then no options will be selected by default. The customer will not be able to click the add to cart button and they must choose their options first. So let me just show you briefly how that works. Right now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that the first size variant, small, the first color, black, are chosen by default. If I choose this enable pick an option feature, you'll see that now no options are enabled by default. And the cart button has changed to say pick an option. So now the customer must select that before they can proceed. You'll also notice that there's a variant picker block that's enabled here, and there's a few settings for this. So in this case, we're showing swatches for the different variant options. So things other than color show as buttons like this, and colors will either show the variant image or your own custom swatches that you could set up in the theme. So I'm gonna click on the variant picker option and I'm going to turn off swatches. And that turns the swatches into standard drop-down menus. And since we have the pick an option selection active here, the first choice in the drop-down menu is now pick an option, and that is chosen by default when you reload the page. If I turn that off, then the size small and the color black, which are the first variants in each of those option groups, are selected by default and the customer can just go and add it to the cart right away. 
So that briefly explains how the pick an option feature will work. Now we're going to talk about the free products feature, which basically allows you to change the behavior of the product page and collection pages if the cart button is enabled for when a product is marked as zero dollars. So if we go to our theme settings area and choose free products, you'll notice that you can add some custom text here for products that are zero dollars. So in some cases, there are some customers who might like to have samples that are free. So I'm just going to say free sample here and I'll go ahead and hide the cart button if the product is zero. So right now this product is $25.99. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this product title. I'm gonna go into the products and I'm going to find this product and change the price to zero just to show you what happens. So I'm gonna change all variant prices to zero and save that product. And now if I save these options, you'll see that the price disappeared and was replaced with this custom text and the cart button is now hidden. So that's a quick way to set it up so you can have some free products on your site and you can still have them added to the cart if you like at zero. So they will know that they can. Now I'm going to show you how you can create custom badges to show in the collection grid on your product pages. So this 25% off badge here is an example of a standard badge that comes with the theme. Now I'm going to show you how you can use some custom tagging to create your own badges to show as well. So first of all, you can see that there are some options in the theme settings product grid for the badges in general. So we have the show discount badges enabled, which would be this one, and we have it shown as percentage savings. You could change this to a dollar amount savings if you want. So this one is $20.01 off or percentage savings. Let's say you wanted to add a custom badge here that said new. So I'm going to go into this product and I'm just going to copy the product name so I can quickly find it. I'm going to go into the products and search for this product. And now using a custom tag, I can add my own label name. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tag and it must start with two underscore characters followed by label and then a colon, a space, and then the name of our label. So in this case, we want new. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and save this product. So I can see that our new label has been added. Now I'm going to refresh this collection page. And you can see that our new badge has now appeared. We can control the color of this in our color settings, also in the general theme settings. Under colors, we scroll to the bottom. There's custom label one and two. So if we've added two labels, then the second label will be this color. So as you can see, I can change this to any color I'd like and it will update the border and the text color to match that. So that's Now I'm going to briefly show you how to set up a subset of variant images on your product pages. And what this allows you to do is to take all of these images that are in here that you've added to your product and only show the relevant colors depending on which color your customer has selected. So for example, if I click the red color shirt, I might only want these three images showing, so my customer can only see the red variants of this shirt. So quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that in the theme. 
So first I'm going to visit this product in my product admin here in Shopify. And to facilitate this functionality, I'm going to edit the alt text of each of these images. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you know exactly what this product option is called that you're going to be using for this functionality. So in this case, it's color. Then in my Shopify dashboard, I'm going to click on an image, click the little dot pattern, and there's this edit alt text link here. Now we have to use a specific naming convention for this. So we'll add a hash or pound symbol here, followed by the name of the variant option in lowercase. So again, this will be color. And then an underscore character. And then I'm going to call this red. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, save the alt text, close that. Now I'm going to do the same thing for these other two. Color red, save. So now I'm going to refresh and I'm going to choose the red color now. And you'll see that now only the red color variant images are showing once red is selected. I could do the same thing for the other images. So if I choose black, then only these three images would show. And if I choose white, then only these three images would show. So that's a great way to help your customers only see relevant colors of the product options they're looking at. Now you may be concerned that you actually want to use the alt field for your product variant images the way it's intended for search engine optimization. In this case, we've added some code to the theme that will ignore anything before the word before the hashed symbol here. So by default in Shopify, if you add a product image and you don't add any alt text to it, then it will just show the product title as the alt text for the shirt by default. If you want to specify your own, then you can simply add it before this hash symbol. So if we wanted to make this red polo shirt and add it before the hash symbol and this other coding, the theme will make sure that the code will ignore this portion of the alt text. It will only be used for the purposes of creating your variant image set. It won't show in your source code. And everything before the hash symbol will show as the alt text for the image as intended. So you can still use the alt text field for your images as they're meant to be used. So now we're going to talk about the theme's built-in pre-order functionality. The functionality is pretty basic. Basically, if you have a variant that has less than one in stock, and the continue selling when out of stock checkbox is checked for the variant, then the add to cart button will become a pre-order button with some custom text below that you can edit to let your customers know that the product will not ship immediately. To enable this feature, I'm going to go ahead and go to my theme settings under product grid and choose enable pre-order feature. Now, if I look at my product, I'm going to go ahead and make the extra large red t-shirt a pre-order. So if I click on this option, you'll see that we have zero available right now. And if we want the pre-order to work, we need to continue selling when out of stock. So I'm gonna check that option and save. Make sure I save my theme changes. Now I have the product listed here. So now if I go ahead and refresh this product, sometimes this can take a minute or so when you change inventory or change that checkbox. So if it doesn't happen right away, please try again in a couple of minutes. But I'm going to check extra large, choose the red color, and the button now says pre-order. And there is some text here that can be edited in the theme languages area that lets your customer know it will not ship right away. So that's a brief description of the pre-order functionality. Now we're going to talk about the catalog mode functionality that comes with the theme. Basically what this does is it will let you hide your cart buttons, prices, 
and the cart icon in your header, if you wish, if you only want your customers to see the products and not be able to purchase at this point. So this is all managed in theme settings under catalog mode. So we've got three checkboxes here. We can hide the prices. We'll hide this. Hide the cart buttons. And the hide the header icon. You'll notice that this also happens throughout your collection pages too. So the prices go away. And in quick view. So you can still select options so the customers can see the variant images, but you cannot add the products to the cart. So that's a brief overview of catalog mode.